Hello everyone, this is the Blue Dragon Gamer, and continuing where we left off in episode 3, we need to head through the minecart entrance. This completes digging out the minecart entrance. Like, look at all these minecarts, Scoob. This must be some kind of ride. Hmm, Scoob, do you smell what I'm smelling? Roasted chicken with rocklet sauce and anchovies. <laughs> Here, I'll go first. Me first? No, me! <laughs> Did you feel that, Scoob? Uh -huh. Like we're moving? Oh, no! This completes exploring Main Street, and we're given a task to escape from the mine. During the minecart ride, you want to try to get as many gold nuggets as you can. You need to get at least somewhere in between 120 and 140 gold nuggets before the end. That won't be a problem, because I'm going to show you how to get 186 gold nuggets, which is more than enough. I think that 186 gold nuggets is the most you can get doing the minecart ride. <laughs> By the end of Area 1, you should have 27 gold nuggets. Hold on, Scoob! By the end of Area 2, you should have 45 gold nuggets. Yikes. Watch out for the mummy and the other minecart throwing sand at you. Just tilt the cart to avoid the sand. Hold on, right. By the end of Area 3, you should have 73 gold nuggets. to tilt the cart to avoid going down dead ends. Here you can go either left or right, it doesn't matter. Both ways consist of three gold nuggets. I prefer staying on the left side. Here you need to stay on the right side to get three gold nuggets. The left side only has two gold nuggets. By the end of area four, you should have 96 gold nuggets. Watch out for the sand that the mummy throws while going by. Here you can go either left or right, it doesn't matter since there aren't any gold nuggets on either side. I prefer staying on the right side. Make it stop! Here you want to go left, right just leads to a dead end. By the end of area 5 you should have 112 gold nuggets. Here you can go either left or right, it doesn't matter, both ways consist of 14 gold nuggets, I prefer going left. By the end of area 6 you should have 167 gold nuggets. This is the biggest area and there are many ways to do it, this is just the way I do it. I like to start by going down the center. Go left. Go left again. This time go right. To the right we see our third clue. Don't worry about it for now. Before reaching the exit, turn right. 
In order to get all the gold nuggets and the third clue, we need to go around multiple times. This is the only area in which you can do that. Use this area to get a lot of gold nuggets in case you don't have a lot. Continue back down the center. Go left again. This time go right. Tilt the cart to the left to get the third clue. Go right to go around again. This time go right. Go left in a complete circle. Then go right at the second intersection. Go right to go around again. Continue down the center. This time stay on the right side. Oops, I accidentally missed one. No problem, I just need to go around again. This time, stay on the left side to leave Area 6. By the end of Area 7, you should have 186 gold nuggets. No! The reason why we collected the gold nuggets was to get our fourth sandwich ingredient out of the vending machine. Our fourth ingredient is cheese. Use the camera to save your game. Head up the stairs and through the door. This completes escaping from the mine. Here we find our fourth clue behind the barrel. Partner. Head through the door of the other building. Here we are given a task to find Velma. On the chalkboard, we see the combination for the safe. The combination is 137. I didn't know they had surveillance cameras in the Wild West. <laughs> Look, Reggie. Ha! Like you're totally wigging out, Scoob. You think this is a clue, Scooby? Hey, there's a key inside. Here we find the school key along with our fifth clue. Now we can leave the school. Here we are given a task to capture all the dust devils. 
Before we complete this task, we need to go back to the bank and open the safe. Careful, Scoo Use Scooby-Doo to crawl under the desk. The combination is 137. Inside the safe, we find the Dust Devil page. Now we can capture all the Dust Devils. Here we need to capture all the Dust Devils to open a path through the train car. Before we capture all the dust devils, we need to go back into the mine. Here we find our fifth sandwich ingredient. Our fifth ingredient is ham. Now we can capture the remaining dust devils. This completes capturing all the dust devils and finding Velma. Let's show Velma the three clues we found. This is a one-way train ticket for the coast. This is a map of all the tunnels under the theme park. This perfumed white wig looks as if it was part of a saloon dancer costume. Gather wisps to recharge the Tome of Doom. You want to make sure it's fully charged for the upcoming boss fight. Use the camera to save your game. Head through the train car. Here we are given a task to stop the carousel. This is our third boss fight. In order to defeat the giant dust devil, you need to wait for it to split into smaller dust devils. Once it does, you can capture the smaller dust devils. For each one that you capture, the giant dust devil's health goes down. To recharge the Tome of Doom, you need to gather wisps that are thrown from the carousel. You also need to watch out for debris being thrown from the carousel. That was close, that horseshoe almost hit me. When capturing the smaller dust cells, try to get the attention of one at a time. This is because the second one will attack you while you're in the middle of capturing the other one. There is a safe zone in this boss fight. As long as you are in the outer circle, the dust devils cannot attack you. 
As you can see, each time the giant dust devil splits into smaller dust devils, its size decreases. That horse came out of nowhere. If you need to recover, you can get Scooby Snacks in the outer circle. <laughs> After capturing the six smaller Dust Devils, the giant Dust Devil finally decides to come down off the carousel, even though it's not giant anymore. This completes stopping the carousel. How many are there? You need to be careful because the giant dust devil is faster than the smaller dust devils and it takes longer to capture. It is also more aggressive and can even attack you while you're in the middle of capturing it. Yeah, good job, guys. Way to uh, go. Oh, you saved me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's see who's under that wig. Mindy, Mindy Styles. Styles? Oh, Mindy, how could you? I became suspicious when Shaggy told me about the costumes hidden in the school. Going back there, I found papers from Greenwood Development. Now, who could be using these costumes? Why, who else than the last remaining employee? You mean she's the one who lured us with all that delicious food? <laughs> Please, don't take it personally. I had no choice. And to think she would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for you young city slickers. All right, like you know what that means, Scoob, old pal. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> sure, you... Oh, shucks. Mindy's got the key to the food locker. What? <laughs> no, wait, stop! Like, stop the car! Hey, come back! We need the key! The key! Be sure to save your game. <laughs> this is the end of part two of episode three, Weird Wild West.